Hey everybody, welcome to Hilltop Machine Works. Well hey guys, it's Tom here. We are back in the shop for a quick and easy little project. So, um, got this uh, broomstick handle. It uh, come off a uh, push broom they had in the shop that finally, uh, you know, was worn out and uh, wasn't sleeping anymore. So I got a new one and uh, figured I could uh, repurpose this handle because uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, basically make one of these um, countersinks, but I needed uh, a larger end and um, also. On this particular model, I notice if I really torque down, this uh, shaft here wants to slip. So I've got a nice big countersink and um, found a piece of scrap in the scrap bin. So basically what we're going to do here is, if you see this, this is the adapter we're going to make. So this will go in here, the broom handle will go in there, um, we'll run it through a uh, hole, run a uh, quarter 20 screw through there, and that'll hold the broom handle on. And then we'll just uh, drill and tap a quarter 20 hole, put a grub screw in, and that'll hold this. So, real uh, easy, simple project, but uh, it's just been on the to-do list. And um, with this uh, handle now that uh, came into uh, a repurpose, then I figured, hey, let's go ahead and get this thing knocked out. And um, I might as well do it on camera for a quick little turning job. So let's uh, get set up over the lathe and get this thing knocked out. Well, I will say it's kind of cool that this little piece has been hanging out. And it didn't know what its destination was. And now it is going to find out. Don't really need to uh, worry about that face because we are um, going to take most of it off. <clears throat> Go ahead and get a center drill going here. Change it out. Whoops, sorry about that. Half inch drill bit. And see, one and a quarter. Just looking at my markings on my quill. Basically want to go an inch depth. And that should be it. Let me change bits. And let's see if she can take this uh, one incher here, slow the way down. See where the bottom is. So I think 
we're getting close. Hang on, let me measure here. So I got the uh, hole finished up with a one inch drill bit. I'm gonna use this small 3 8 boring bar. I'm gonna go in here and get a flat bottom and then I'll put a bigger boring bar on and we'll start uh, boring it out. Find my bottom there. You get the idea, I'm gonna pick away at it. Well, I got the uh, bottom all flat. I upped the uh, size of the boring bar, and we have about a uh, 140 thou still to take off. This is a uh, 30 thou depth of cut, 60 thou total. I was hoping the chips would break. It's still a little stringy. Got about a quarter of an inch to go. coming up on bottom. I'll hand feed it. And there she is. Alright, I'm going to make a few more passes. Hang on. And let's see where we're at. Uh, about, uh, about 14 thou left to take off. So this measurement isn't critical. Unfortunately, the broom handle is a little bit uh, egg-shaped, so it's not perfectly round. That's the largest measurement. So, um, actually, what I'm going to do, let me go ahead and cut the broom handle the length, and that way we can use it as a test piece. So hang on, guys. Well, I got the handle cut off, and she will almost go in, so yeah. Like I said, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but you can see right there she's kind of a little oval shaped. So let me run in about another 12 to 15 thou and we'll check it again. Okay, just finished that pass and all right, there you go. That'll work. Like I said, she will wobble this way, but not that way because she's tight that way, so... All right, perfect. Uh, let me chamfer this inside bore and uh, we'll pull this out a little bit, polish this part and uh, chamfer that edge right there. And then we'll um, flip it around and that'll be all the work on this side. So. Alrighty, let me get uh, some of these long chips cleaned up too. So they don't grab and whip around and make a wild bird's nest. You know what I mean? See, let's get the old uh, tool out here. That'll work for that. And let's 
get the file. Come on, baby. I don't want to do my jaws. Take a peek and see how she looks. Eh, she polished up pretty good. Guess that's good enough for a adapter. Doesn't have to be super shiny. All right, let me get turned around and we'll get start working on the other side. Let's get a center drill on this side. This hole is going to be a half inch in diameter and we need to go 100 and, I'm sorry, 1 inch and 250 thou. This is a uh, 31 64, it's just under half an inch. And then we'll ream the hole. And there's our bottom. half inch reamer. I'm just using WD-40 since we're uh, cutting aluminum. And that drill may have walked. Doesn't look like uh, the reamer took much off. Eh, smidgen. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what our fit is. Watch your ears. And sweet. <laughs> That'll work. That's a heck of a fit there. Cool. Let me uh, break a couple edges and we'll uh, polish this thing up. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see here. Get some more speed on her. Of course, come to think of it, I might. Might look good if we, uh, Put a little taper on this thing, what do you think? Yeah, I think I want a little taper. I think it'll look better. Put a little taper. Let me polish this up and then uh, we'll get the compound set up and we'll cut us a taper. Okay, time to get back at it. Um, got the compound turned to 45 degrees. Got to be a uh, boring bar in here. What we'll do is we'll just Start uh, cutting this down, get a nice little taper going. Make this thing look a little more uh, ornate and pretty. And since we're cutting on this side, obviously we've got to run the lathe in uh, clockwise rotation. So let's get uh, to it.
And really, I don't have any specific length. We'll just take it down to uh, what kind of looks good here. And then we'll come back and blend it in. And as I'm coming back and forth with my compound, I slowly move the carriage in about five thou each pass. It's not looking too bad there. Let me uh, take a nice slow one. And Try to get a nice surface finish. Trying to feed it consistently the same rate so I don't have the lines in it. Of course, got a little bit of chatter because of the shallow cut there. Carbide likes to dig. really good actually wow all right let me uh, file that one little edge right there where she comes in and makes the transition and uh, I think we'll leave it at that and um, I think I'm gonna jazz this up a little bit you know why not uh, take like a uh, grooving tool and we'll maybe cut some grooves in this thing here give this thing a little more character so hang on a little different uh, width inserts used for uh, you know mainly excuse me there cutting like o-ring grooves but it's good for you know doing ornate stuff so we're gonna run three lines and uh, jazz this thing up a little bit so I'm gonna come over uh, 0.241 for my first line right there go ahead and lock it and I don't really have a set depth we're just going to see what it looks like let me touch off here all right I'm a zero I may have to slow her down a little bit, a little bit of harmonics. And I'm doing it dry right now. I'm just going it real slowly. We're at 20 thou. That's 25. Actually, 25 is not too bad, but. I'm going to take it a hair more. Let's do about uh, 35. See what we end up with. Ah. good right there cool unlock and next number is 
That's it right there. And rinse and repeat. Just finished up the grooves. It came out nice. So, uh, jazz it up a little bit more. I think I'm gonna try to add some color to them. And then we'll uh, color the tops. See if I can get lucky or not. It's somewhat of a deep groove, so. Too bad. Cool. So what now we need to do is uh, drill a couple holes. This is going to be a through hole, and this is obviously is going to be only through to half the part, and then we'll uh, have to uh, tap it. So let's get over to the mill. So we're over at the uh, mill. I just. Uh, found the edge of the part and if you're kind of new to machining and you're wondering how the heck did you do that on that round surface in the jaw like it is well all you got to do is run your edge finder off the back of this fixed jaw because that's going to be the same as that part right there and then just come in and find the uh, dimensions that you need so We are going to uh, drill and tap uh, quarter 20. Quick spot drill. So number seven. And that will give me, looking at my chart behind me, number seven gives you 75% thread. And I hope Peter's enjoying his charts that I sent him. Congratulations, Peter, again on the 5,000 subscriber winner. Quick little chamfer on the hole. All you need. Taps in, slow it way down. See if I can get some. There you go. Ain't gonna take much on this. Uh, let's move over and we'll run a through hole to the big side. Run a quick spot. We'll just divide it right there on that line. This is a uh, quarter inch drill bit.
done. Let's get it cleaned up and assembled. Figured it'd be easier just to uh, drill it this way instead of over there at the uh, bench vise. Okay, let's get this uh, little project assembled. Um, I just ground a uh, flat on this uh, countersink to give the uh, grub screw a fighting chance there. Get the handle in. Nothing fancy on this. This is just a quarter inch bolt. I may go to something a little bit different if I find a longer one, maybe recess this a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes function is better than form, but since we're trying to make it look a little bit snazzy, why not? Add a little flare if we can. And sweet. Man, that feels good. We have one handheld. Easy to uh, chamfer the bores now. Quick and easy. All right, guys. Well, I hope you uh, appreciate this quick little project. Um, you know, we didn't make any nuclear rocket ship parts here, that's for sure. But uh, sometimes, you know, you got to make basic tools for the shop because uh, either one, they don't exist, or if they exist, sometimes they're way too expensive. So why not make it yourself? So uh, there you go. And until uh, next time, we'll catch you guys later. Hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, all that good stuff.